Good morning, welcome to my Munro challenge. Today is day 80 and I'm walking route number 98. I'm parked beside Lockern on a small pull in on the roadside. And today we're going to walk Ben Vorley, which is Hill of the Bay, and Stuck a Cron, which is Hill of the Sheepfold. So we're uh, starting the day following this Land Rover track. And you can see Ben Volley up there in the clouds. There we go, clouds are lifting. That's a better view. You can see a footpath skirting up the uh, right hand side shoulder. I suspect that'll be us. The higher up this mountain you get, the more imposing it's becoming. What a fabulous sight that is. You can just about make out um, a track cutting up that shoulder. There you go, so we just crossed this bridge at the top of the Land Rover track and the uh, Land Rover track has turned into a footpath. I have to say, the wide one, it's very well walked. I suspect this is a very popular Munro. So, just looking at this faint path on the right here coming off of this track, I believe that's my return path. I'll be taking coming back, looking back down at the lock. Yeah, so we'll be uh, cutting round there and I'll return later today. So we've got to uh, continue up here for now. So the higher up this mountain we get, the steeper it gets. That's for sure. I'm expecting to see a monument or a memorial. Whether that's it, I'm sure that's not the top. The top will be up there. Wow, look at the rainbow! <laughs> awesome! This path has become very, very rocky and very steep, heading up towards the summit. Ben Volley! Wow, Hill of the Bay! where we're going next. Now I'm here, the trip point does look higher. Yeah, I suspect uh, as the trip point was the top. Looks quite a steep descent to that VLAC. Wow, some fantastic views, even though we're semi in cloud. Just out of the wind here, thank goodness. It's got a real summit feel about it, hasn't it? Wow! <laughs> wow! Doesn't that look awesome? What oh, a fantastic looking mountain. We're well, not in the BLAC yet, but I took the opportunity of getting out of the wind and uh, taking a quick video. I need to plot a way up there. That, that buttress looks. It looks really, really dangerous, that buttress. I'm not sure Stan and I can get up there. Might be able to bypass round and go up that shoulder. I think that's probably the best thing to do. Just looking at the uh, drop down into this PLAC, it's very steep. Very, very steep. Not quite there yet, nearly. Now I'm under that buttress, it doesn't look that bad. Give it a go. Looking across at Ben Volrick. We're at the underside of this buttress now. <laughs> and I'm now regretting coming this way. <laughs> Gosh, that's steep. Wow. What a fantastic view. The wind's just died. Amazing. Stuck a croin. Oh, an awesome top. Ben Volrick looks. Uh, Pretty awesome from this angle as well, doesn't it? Now the two tops from this view, the second top looks higher. The clouds just lifted again. Very windy day, very cold. You can see the path cutting down there and eventually it cuts round the underside of Ben Volrick and then uh, 
wraps round again I suspect it'll meet up with the uh, track we came up eventually well that was ridiculously steep coming down there it's very very slippy that's the BLAC over there and this path gets underneath the BLAC and round as you can see hopefully the steepest is over so we're right at the bottom now and just underneath the BLAC that's Ben Volrick that's a buttress but now we know we don't actually go over it you go round it some steps so it's not, not as bad as it looks. Wow this is a squelchy path wrapping around the uh, hillside very very boggy very boggy look at that isn't that awesome so that's Loch Earn down there that's where we're parked we're still skirting the underside Ben Volrick up there I think you can see people going up the last steep ascent god that was steep that last bit we're still skirting round so uh, this track that we're on skirts the underside kind of sticks to its contour really and meets the uh, meets the erosion control path over over that way which is what we'll do so we've cut across and down and round a very boggy, squelchy, slippy, slidey, undulating path and we've just got back to this uh, main erosion control path that we took up earlier this morning so this is going to take us back down to the car Hi, welcome to day 80 of my Munro challenge today I walked route number 98 it's Wednesday the 11th of May and I parked on a pulling on the roadside uh, at Loch, beside Loch Earn. I have to say the weather today was extraordinary and we had two extraordinary mountains so they went hand in hand. The, the, I need to start with the weather. The, the wind was so strong and so cold and, and uh, it, rain was in and out. It, it, there were showers but really 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 heavy showers. Uh, and, and uh, hail at times sometimes I was inside of a cloud for maybe five minutes and as quickly as the cloud appears it disappeared and it was glorious sunshine um, it, it was a really bizarre day so Ben Volley what a great mountain um, despite following a very very manufactured path um, uh, for maybe two thirds of the ascent, the last the last third was very very steep. It's where where the mountain came into its own. Um, very steep. You can tell it. You can tell it's a well worn path. Um, the erosion control had gone by the last third, so it became an, like a normal path. But there was a myriad of paths off of it where people had veered off um, in in different directions because of the steepness of the top. Uh, top section by now it was blowing a gale it was raining sideways driving rain I'd got all the clothes I possibly could have on uh, all my waterproofs it was freezing and it was wet through um, in fact I could see a couple behind me um, got to the last really steep dis ascent and they actually turned back the weather was that bad but as quickly as you get to the top uh, the clouds dispersed and I had a reasonable view despite the wind um, the two tops at first I thought the second top was the top and not the cairn but when I got to the second top the cairn certainly looked higher um, the trick point sorry uh, great top great views um, so I, I then made my way to the BLAC I have to say it was a very 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 steep descent down to the BLAC, uh, slippy in places, uh, rocky in places, uh, you just had to take time and take care um, so and all the time you're dropping down you're looking across at Stucker Croyne what an awesome looking mountain it is frightening a uh, very exciting mountain uh, and that the buttress was just like looming there and you're thinking how on earth do you get over that um, 
and then, then it, you kind of get to it you think oh it's not that bad and then you go under it you think oh it is that bad but actually the path that you're on actually runs slightly round the side of it and um and it, it kind of runs up a step gully so it's not that bad at all stan flew up um but by then again i was in cloud i was in rain i can't believe it because seconds earlier it was blue sky and sunshine um oh it, it was it was dire um once you get over the buttress um it, it's quite a flattish top you follow a path to um when the cloud disappears you can see the two cairns um now the top is the left hand cairn nearest the edge with the better view of benvoli uh, I went to both just to make sure. Awesome, just a stunning top. Um, I say views of Benvoli, uh, around to the buttress. It, it was just fabulous, breathtaking mountain. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so I dropped under. I followed a path down to I followed various cairns and um, you come to a cairn denoting a right turn which takes you on the underside of the uh, buttress and uh, it's so steep it's really 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 steep very slippy it's boggy it's been raining for pretty much two days uh, it's very slippy um, but you get down the steepness and then you've you've got a traverse and you can see the the path wrapping round the underside of Benvoli and and round and round and round and you keep getting to the various uh, corners if you like and this path is still going it seems to take quite a long time this traverse and it's got like four or five footpaths where people are trying to avoid boggy bits so it's getting higher and higher or lower and lower and uh, it was um, a very squelchy and long traverse back to the main track fantastic day um, 11 miles 4,279 feet and it took me six hours.